Hey there, good evening, Adam here. I I got my sound fixed now, or my microphone. Sorry about that. I, I didn't realize when I reinstalled my computer, I had some settings screwed up on my uh, OBS. But it should be good now. Shouldn't be getting any crazy uh, background noise. So today I want to talk about how to do multiple daily notes in Obsidian. So if you're unfamiliar with the daily notes function, you click on this button right here on the left-hand side, open today's daily note. I have a previous video that I will link that explains why I like daily notes. I, and then you'll see this is today's date, the 25th of August. So this is my daily note. So it just by default, let's just say I want to go work on this for a bit. I work on my test stuff, whatever I want to work on. I And then I want to continue working on my daily notes, just musings throughout the day. If I click on the daily note button, it brings me back to the same one. So further musings. I, let's just say, for example, though, that you're one of those people that prefers to have multiple daily notes for whatever reason with today's date. So there's two different ways to do it that'll sort of lead you to the same place. The first one is to put this in a different folder. So if you just drag it in here, there it goes. And you actually see it's renamed because I already have one from today. So now I got two from the same day, and now it's got a one next to the end of it. And if I click on daily notes again, I'm going to have another one with that same default name, drag it in there. Look, now I got three of them. But let's just say that, you know, that's ugly, or let's just say you don't want to do the folders. I So the way, the reason it's going to do that is because you can have one of every single name in every single folder. Because, you know, where this lives is this just lives in your Dropbox. These are individual folders. You can have the same name in multiple locations if it's in multiple folders. So, because it's just, it's just text, it's just text files. But there's a cleaner way to do it. I mean, first off, I would say, why do you want to do this? If you want to talk about a specific topic and you have a different topic to talk about, instead, just why don't you just make a new note, new topic, and then you can use like one of my templates to, uh, one of my fleeting templates. And there you go, you can talk about whatever you want. But if you're just bound and determined to have multiple daily notes, let's say you get this one, all you're going to want to do is rename this one. You can just do one or first or whatever you want to call it. If you ch change the name away from this default format and click on it again, you're going to get a new note because all it's looking is checking the main folder to see if you've got one with this exact name. If you don't, it'll make a new note with that ex exact name. It's not really thinking that hard about the daily note. It's just looking for a particular name and opening it if it exists or creating it if it does not exist and only in your default folder, your main folder. Again, if you put it in a different folder, you're going to create a new one if you hit create. So you can do it that way too, but again, not my favorite numbering scheme. It's going to be a little hard to keep track of that. All right, I hope that answers your questions. Thanks.